What is up YouTube? It's Chase here, Hero X Cable X back again and I have a different game that I picked up. I picked up Persona 4 Arena if you saw my first um first videos, my first match, but um I decided to pick this up and it's a really fun game and I wanted to talk talk to you a little bit about it. I picked it up for 20 bucks, so it's definitely has some value to it. Um what it is, it is a simplistic fighter with a sophisticated fighting system. Uh that's the best best I thing I could give it I guess I don't know it's a very simplistic fighter you have um, two attack buttons light and heavy and you have two persona buttons uh, persona light and heavy I guess is what they're called I'm pretty sure one's called rush and then one's called whatever but um it's a very simplistic fighter but it has a sophisticated fight engine you have different icons that you have to look and different meters that you have to manage and that's what makes it so sophisticated and the, it has a great combo um, combo scheme as well um, if you hit the light attack uh, a lot repeatedly um, it goes into an auto combo which is fairly nice for newcomers but it also doesn't give them such a crutch where they can you know just be OP and just murder people with doing um, auto combos. They are very, they're very good, but still, it's a little bit different. Um, second thing I want to talk about: this game has a bunch of memorable, memorable characters. Um, not the most memorable games. What this game is is basically Atlas took one of its most beloved series and turned it into a fighter, and it works really well for some reason. You know. I don't know how they did it, but it works. Now I know Atlas is known for a couple fighters, as in the Blaze Blue. They also did um, uh, what what is it, King of Fighters as well, the big uh, King of Fighters game, which is really cool and really fun, and I really enjoy that one. I'm gonna post some stuff on that as well. But this game is just so much fun for me. I just enjoy it so much. So in a couple of these matches that you're gonna be seeing. You'll see that uh, I pretty much go beast on these people. I mean, they'll get me to a very low health. And with this game, the, the lowest health that you can get, I mean, you still can wreck people. You go into a hyper, a heightened state, I guess it was, it's called. Get a little bit more meter and um, you can just wreck. And I like how easy the combos are to figure out in the beginning but yet they still have some very difficult combos that you can pull off as well um, this game is featured in Evo and it's vastly growing a like cult following if you will uh, a lot of people have been playing it I've noticed um, I didn't know how big it was gonna be in the beginning that's why I kinda waited until uh, the price dropped so I could get some value in the game because I don't know if I could have justified paying uh, $60 when it first came out because I just wasn't too much into the hype machine that was Persona 4 Arena um, but man I'm so glad I picked it up now it's still a very live uh, lively game it's been about been out for a little bit under a year and uh, still a lot of folks playing it I haven't had trouble finding any people playing and um, I can find ranked match, player matches all the time. Uh, the player matches are really fun because they're just like the Endless Lobby and Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, which is uh, one of my favorite games that I've played. Um, yeah, there's not enough good things that I can say about this. This game's amazing, and you should definitely pick it up right now. I know it's on sale right now at GameStop for 20 bucks. That's why I picked it up. But anyways, I'll let you watch the rest of this. This is Hero X Cable X signing out. Peace.